All right, so the Joe incident. All right, so I used to work at a coffee shop. Uh, you know, standard job. Worked with a guy named Joe. He was mainly the only other one that worked there. There was a couple other guys, but didn't really get to see him. All right, this all happened just another day on the job. I'm just serving coffees, you know, breakfast items, whatever. Anyway, businessman walks in one day, and he pauses his phone call on his, like, headset or whatever, the, you know, little thing in your ear, and he turns to me and goes, yeah, can I get a cup of joe? I don't know what that means, in the slightest. So, I look at him bewildered, and I go, all right, I'll get you one. And as soon as the guy walks off, I turn to Joe, and I say, I have no clue what this means, but apparently the guy wants a cup of you. And Joe's just as confused as me. And I explained to him that the guy said he wanted a cup of Joe. That means coffee, apparently. I did not know that. Joe did not know that. All I know is, Joe said, okay. Took a cup, walked into the back. And... Then Joe came out of the bathroom. He handed me a cup that was lukewarm. I did not know what was in it. I don't want to know what was in it. There was a lid on it, so I did not check what was in it. I handed it to the guy, said, here's your cup of Joe. The guy opened up the lid, dropped the cup, and looked at me as though I handed him the corpse of a small dog. I didn't... Yeah, I didn't know it was in the cup. I wanted to know it was in the cup now. He's, he said to me, this is not what I ordered. What is that? And I said, I have no clue. You asked for a cup of Joe. Joe made it. I thought this was some special drink that Joe made or something like that. I have no clue what that is. So, the guy walks out, and honestly, I think everyone involved is traumatized after that. And needless to say, I didn't work there for much longer afterwards.